This is Sanjay Kambar from MR Sakri English Medium School, Vidya Nagar, Hubli. So today I am going to deal a uh, history chapter. So before that, uh, let me uh, motivate you. So I will give you few clues and uh, you just tell me and then uh, slowly we will proceed to the topic. Okay. So just I will share you a screen and uh, I will ask so the particular person just to raise your hand. And you have to answer with that. Is that very clear? Yes, yes, sir. Okay. Can you Excuse see us outside? Uh, just a minute. Uh, till I don't ask you, please don't answer. I think you can see a personality there before you on your screen. Right? Okay. Bhavna? Yes, sir. Bhavna. Can you tell me who is this personality? Sir, I think it's Bhagat Singh. Very good. Fantastic. So, he's a Bhagat Singh. Good. Nandini? Yes, sir. Can you see the cursor where I am going? Can you tell me the name of this personality? Yes, to Bash Chandra Bose. Yes, this is Subhash Chandra Bose. Fantastic. Good. Tejeshwini? Yes, sir. Can you see the real cursor where I am going on the personality? Can you name me who is this personality? Tagore, sir. Okay, fantastic. Rabindranath Tagore. Very good. So, the personalities which I have shown you, now you got an idea that, so, they are all related to one concept, to our country. Right? So, Shiv Prasad, can you tell me in what way they are related to For Shri Yama of India? Uh, these all personalities, they are somewhere related to some events concerned to our country. Can you tell me what is that? For India, nationalism sir, of India. Yes, very good. Nationalism or in other simple word, what we can say? Freedom yes. of India. Yes, freedom of India or a freedom movement. Fantastic answer. So good. So these all people they have laid down their life for the sake of the country. So they are the freedom fighters. So Subhashana Bose, Bhagat Singh and Rabindranath Tagore who is a poet as well as even he fought for the independence of the country. Now this topic is just taking very close to today's topic what I am going to do. That is the freedom movement, the era of the Gandhiji and freedom movement. Okay. Nice. Yeah, it takes some time to download. Is it visible on your screen, right? Yes, sir. Uh, see, my life is my message. A beautiful word by the father of nation, Mahatma Gandhiji, okay, even the great personality, he is a great freedom fighter. So let us know about him initially, what was his lifestyle, his life, right? Then uh, how he has entered to the freedom movement and what are the policies, the principles he has followed throughout his journey of the life for the sake of the freedom. So, I will deal one by one uh, module I will show you. So, just observe it very carefully and uh, I will interact with you. 
Oke okay? A beautiful sentence. Be the change you wish to see in the world. Means, actually, what you want, have the change in the world. First, you have that change in yourself. Then, definitely, the world is going to change. A beautiful word by Gandhi. These items belong to a famous Indian freedom fighter. Who is it? Of course, who is this? Santosh? Mahatma. Very good. So, Mahatma Gandhiji. A simple thinking and high living. These items just show you the way of the life, a simple things of the simple person. He embraced people known as untouchables and called them Harijans, which means children of God. Would you have done that too? Beautiful, you see. Untouchables. The downtrodden caste people. So for them, he has given a beautiful name. He called them as Harijans. Means the children of the God. Why is he often shown spinning a wheel? The stick in his hand was never used to hit anyone. Yet, the man held tremendous power. Why? See, very beautifully they have shown. In the earlier model they have shown he was spinning the charaka. Means, he has given importance to the Swadeshi. Right? We should manufacture the goods by making use of our own Indian business. So that is charaka and the khadi were main importance given by him and next now you are seeing that he is holding the stick but he never used that stick to beat anyone right so he has followed always the truth and non-violence policy okay why is the image of the dandi march on the reverse side of a 500 rupee bank note see the important moment which he has done during the time of freedom movement that is what the Dandi march so that is so important that they have depicted that image on the 500 rupees note he met king george the fifth of england dressed in a loincloth why didn't he wear a formal suit so even though he had been to the england he never gave gave up his simplicity and the Indian outlook. So he was there in his own simple style. He helped set us free. Right? So it shows that how he struggled to get the freedom for the people. His life was an example of all he taught. We call him the father of the nation. Right, so that's the reason. These all are the dedication, what he has done. So even though he was a barrister, but the way he has dedicated his life for the freedom of the country, really, it is a not so simple task. That's the reason he is called by the name Mahatma. See, life journey of the Mahatma Gandhi. So, earlier things which are concerned or which are related to the Gandhi, just I have shown you. Now, the early life, how did it begin? 
so what were the incidents which have taken place in the life of the gandhi ji and how did he started the freedom movement with which all the situations that we are going to see some men are immortal that is they never die one among them is the mahatma also known as the father of the nation the mahatma was born as mohandas karamchand gandhi on 2nd october 1869 at porbandar in the state of gujarat my dear children see they made it very clear right mahatma gandhi ji was born in the place porbandar which is there in the gujarat can you see that please keep this in your mind and the date october 2nd 1869 these two things has to be there in your mind so the place porbandar in the gujarat right and the year 1869 second october clear He was only 13 years old when he was married to Kasturba in 1883. See, 1883 got married. So this another uh, incident which proves that during those days child marriage were in the practice. Right? Uh, one live example from the Gandhi's life. He got married at the age of 13 with the Kasturba Gandhi in the year 1883. However. Gandhi continued with his studies even after marriage and in 1888 went to the University College of London to study law. During his stay in London, Gandhi practiced strict vegetarianism and developed a great interest in religion and principles of brotherhood. See, even though Gandhi ji had been abroad to the England, right? For the study of I realization that is law, but we when he had been there, he never gave up the Indian culture and his own food habits. So that is the pure vegetarianism he has followed there. That too he mingled with other people, with other religious people, following the principles of brotherhood. Okay, he never discriminated that himself with others. After completing his studies in London, he came to India for a brief period. before going to work in south africa in 1893 one day while gandhi was traveling on a train in south africa he was asked to leave a first class compartment reserved for europeans gandhi refused as a result he was thrown out from the train this was the first time He experienced such unfairness which changed his outlook towards racism forever. Okay, see here just one incident that I have shown you. This was the first time Okay. So this was the incident which had happened when in the South Africa and it has brought a greater change in the life of the Gandhi ji. right uh prachi prachi shubhasat yes sir ah uh, shubhasat so this is one incident which has been shown here okay so in the incident one so what it shows what had happened what is this incident and the compartment was only reserved for europeans sir yes very good so in the second incident what is happening here the british officer is asking to leave gandhi ji sir yeah and in the third incident when he not left uh, he was thrown out from the train sir very good fantastic see here 
This is the incident which has taken place in the South Africa when he was travelling. Even though Gandhi ji had the first class ticket reservation, but he was not allowed. Right? So during uh, his journey when he was thrown out, so he felt for the very first time what was there in the practice. So in the South Africa, DC Kampano. What is that? This is a This is a very good. So very soon he come to know that okay, so there is the inhuman practice. What is that? Racism. Then he felt very sad, and this was the initial step from where he started. He experienced such unfairness, which changed his outlook towards racism forever. See, even today. At the Petersburg in South Africa stands the Petersburg Memorial that honors Gandhi ji for his stand against the racism. Soon after, on his return to India, Gandhi realized that his countrymen in India too were suffering from a similar plight. In India too, he used the non-violent method of satyagraha to protest the harsh british policies see he found the racism in the south africa right that was a inhuman practice that the people are treated on the base of the color of the skin when he had been to india when he came back to india here also he found there is some evil practices and some of the evil practices which were taken by the britishers to protest against the Britishers, so he has used his own method that is called as non-violent form of protest, which is called by the name Satyagraha. Okay, so just my dear children, this Satyagraha you have to keep in your mind. The word Satyagraha, what does it mean? It will be explained here. Taken from Sanskrit. The word Satyagraha means fight for truth. Gandhi described Satyagraha as the weapon of the strong that permitted no violence in any circumstances and insisted upon truth. See, the weapon of the strong permits no violence. It's very tough to maintain this. Right? Practicing non-violence is not a simple task. Insist upon the truth. Always speaking truth and having the truth in us. Maintaining that it is not a simple task. That's the reason he is called by the name Mahatma. One of the first few examples of his use of Satyagraha in India was seen. See, some of the great success which has achieved through the Satyagraha. So which are those moments? So which are those incidents? Let us see that. When he helped the indigo planters in Champaran district of Bihar. See. This is Champaran district where in the Bihar and what these all people, they are all the farmers. They are the indigo planters who are going to indigo. Okay. And some watch. The Britishers have forcibly made them to grow the indigo, right? So if they grow that, the land will become a barren, and definitely, so which is going to affect their agricultural land and ag agriculture production. So with this intention, so they were not in a favor of the British to grow that. So they started the agitation, and for this agitation, Gandhi ji have given us support, right? So how he has supported through the satyagraha. Let us see that. And help the famine affected villagers in the Khera district of Gujarat. See another, the Khera district, where it is, the Gujarat, the birthplace of Gandhiji, Orbandar in the Gujarat only, the Khera. Clear? Fine. Gandhi used Satyagraha at a national level when he started the non-cooperation movement in 1920. 
His high beliefs and non-violent method earned him the admiration of many, including Rabindranath Tagore, who first hailed him as the Mahatma. My dear students, very important. See, due to his Satyagra moment in the Khera and the Champaranyam, he has become so famous that. So the moment when started throughout the country, non-cooperation movement, so it has spread everywhere. So the great poet, okay, who is that? Rabindranath Tagore. So he gave him the title. What is that? Mahatma, the great soul. Clear? So due to this incident, so then or not, Gandhiji was called by the name Mahatma Gandhiji. He started the Salt Satyagraha to protest against the unfair salt tax the British imposed on poor Indians. For this, he marched from Sabarmati to Dandi, a distance of over 300 kilometers to make salt. This was popularly known as the Dandi March. See, salt Satyagraha is nothing but a Dandi March. Why Dandi March? So, it is on the river bank Dandi. Okay. So he has travelled from his Ashram, Shabramati Ashram to River Dandi, which is approximately 300 kilometers. So Salt Satyagra, it can be also named as a Dandi March. Gandhi led a simple life. He continued to be a vegetarian and wore clothes of Khadi, which he himself spun from the Charkha. Gandhi continued in the path of Satyagraha, which helped India achieve Swaraj and gain independence in 1947. The mortal journey of the Mahatma ended on 30th January 1948, but years later, he continues to live on. This is where the few incident, right? which Gandhi has started with and his journey came to an end in the year 1948. Okay, so a mortal journey. Then he remained in our heart and soul everywhere throughout the world. So he is called as immortal. Okay. His life experiences influenced many people across the globe. No wonder till today India is referred to as the land of the Mahatma. Okay, so based on this, let us try to understand. So there are few incidents. So how good we are knowing that? Let us see that. Okay, so Mahatma Gandhi and National Movement. Uh, uh, can you see this, children? This is a puzzle. Solve the cross yes, with the help of tools, right? So instruction, solve the crossword puzzle with the help of tools. So here you can see the numbers, right? And the boxes they have given here from top, okay? From the cross and from up to down. So what clues they have given? So down means from up to down. Uh, Gandhiji emphasized the use of dash and khadi. So I think just two minutes uh, time you take and try to solve this. Is it possible? Okay, we will go one by one. Gandhiji emphasized the use of dash and khadi. So I will show you this crossword puzzle here. So first one, it says from uh, top to top. Okay, just to imagine and then think and tell me. Gandhiji emphasized the use of dash and khadi. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six boxes are there. So which word relevant which can be written here? Sir, Charaka. Hello. Yeah, tell me your name. Uh, Tejeshwini. Yes, sir. Yeah, what is that? Charaka. Yeah, say loudly. Charaka, sir. Ah, Charaka. Very good. Gandhi emphasized the use of Charaka and Khan. C H A R A K. Correct. Okay. 
Next second one, the name was given to the untouchables by Gandhi ji. It is a cross. Okay, second box, a cross you have to write. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, eight words are then needed there. So, what it may be, the name was given to untouchables by Gandhi ji. What it may be, Shukrasar? Harijan, sir. Harijans, very good. H A R I J A H A N S. Harijans. Okay. Fantastic. Harijans. Third one from uh, top to bottom. Gandhi ji practiced law in dash. Okay. So, that is third one. Okay. This one from top to bottom. Sohan. Can you tell me the third one? Nandini? Third one. It says Gandhiji practice law in dash. It may be the name of place, I think so. Yeah, who will answer? No. See the number of South boxes. Africa. South Africa, sir. Yes, my dear. Exactly, you are correct. It is a South Africa. Okay. The fourth on the birthplace of Mahatma Gandhi. It is very simple. Porbandar. Yeah. From top to bottom. Porbandar. Yes. Porbandar. Correct. Then fifth one. According to Gandhiji, dash meant avoiding injury to anything on earth by thoughts, words, or deed. Fifth one. Okay. According to Gandhiji, it says that so dash meant avoiding injury to anything on earth by thought, words, or deed. So what it may be that particular mm -hmm. word? Yes. Ahimsa. Indigo sir. Yes. Not indigo. Ahimsa. Ah, exactly. Ahimsa. Because that is the policy, the principle what he has called. Ahimsa. Okay, exactly. Ahimsa is correct. Then dash means producing and using items in one's own country. Swadeshi. Yes, very good. So, producing our own goods and using them is nothing but so they see six them. Yes. Exactly correct. So, they see. Yes. Seventh one, Gandhiji was properly known as? Mahatma. Mahatma. Bapu. Bapu, sir. Only four boxes. Only four boxes. Bapu, sir. Yes, Bapu, sir. Bapu, sir. Exactly correct. Bapu is correct. Okay, eighth one, the dash cultivator of Champaranya were exploited by the European planters. So, indigo. Dash cultivator. Indigo, sir. Eighth one, just find out. Okay. Eighth one. Okay, ninth one, the technique was used by Gandhiji to fight against injustice. No, no. Sir, Non violence, sir. Non violence. No, it is not sitting here. So, Satyagraha. Non violence is wrong. wrong. What is that? Satyagraha. Yes, Satyagraha, exactly. Yes, it fits here, Satyagraha. Tenth one, Gandhiji led a Satyagraha for the mill workers in. Tenth one. Ahmedabad. Ah, yeah, Gujarat, Ahmedabad. Yes, and the path, exactly correct. Okay, so let us uh, view the answers. What you have told? Are they exactly what we have discussed? Let's see. Yes, my dear. First one is Charaka, exactly correct. Second one is Harijans. Okay, third one is South Africa. Fourth one is Porbandar. Okay, then fifth one is Ahimsa. Sixth one, Swadeshi. Correct. Then 
सेवेंथ वन दैट इज बापू देन एट्थ वन इंडिगो नाइन्थ वन सत्याग्रह एंड टेंथ वन दैट इज अहमदाबाद एक्सैक्टली फैंटास्टिक मॉडिशन Let me see how nicely you can answer for these questions. See, Priti Lata Vadeda was a brave woman who participated in the Chitgaon armory raid. She killed herself later when her associates were sentenced to death or life imprisonment. What does this tell us about her? Her as a person. So option A, she wanted to prove that she was innocent, and uh, charge against her were false, or she had participated in the raid bravely for the cause of freedom in spite of being fully aware of the consequences, or she believed that the British court would frame false all allegations against her that would have spoiled her reputation in the society. or she did not want to participate in another armory raid of the revolutionary organization exactly you think me and tell me priti lata vadeda was a brave woman who participated in the chitgaon armory raid she killed herself later when her associates were sentenced to death or life imprisonment what does this tells us about her as a person what kind of person she was So she wanted to prove that she was innocent, and the charge against her was false. That is option A. Option B. She had participated in the raid bravely for the cause of the freedom, in spite of being fully aware of the consequences. Or she believed that the British court would frame the false allegation against her that would have spoiled her reputation in the society. Or she did not want to participate in the another armed raid of the revolutionary organization. Yes. Anusha Bhutani is there. Anusha. Sir, she is not able to join, sir. Is it a? Okay. So uh, added Anusha. Okay, Dejeshwini. Uh, yes, sir. Can you tell? Sir, I think option C, C. C. Okay. No. Shri Prasad. So option B, sir. Option B. She had participated in the raid bravely for the cause of freedom, in spite of being fully aware of the consequences. Let's see. Exactly correct. Sure, sir. Good. Okay. Gandhi ji was elected as the chairman of the Gujarat Sabha in the same year when the monsoon dropped in the Kerala district fair. In which year did this event occur? Bhavra, Swapna. Yes, sir. Can you tell me? Gandhi ji was elected as the Maybe chairman. Maybe option D, sir. Option D. Okay. Yes. Option D. Let me see. No. Prachi. Prachi is there. Vani Sri. Vani. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, can you answer? Gandhi was elected. Yes. Nineteen fifteen. C. Okay. Good. The option. Exactly correct. Option C. The year nineteen seventeen. See what policy get reflected by this incident, where Gandhi ji was possibly thrown out of first class train compartment despite having a valid ticket. First one is racial opportunity, B racial independence, C racial equality, or D racial discrimination. Santosh. So option D. Option D. 
very good. So this already we know very well that the racial discrimination was there practiced in the South Africa. This famous freedom fighter who actively took part in the Kera Satyagra was nicknamed by Gandhiji as the onion thief. Who was this freedom fighter? Abbas Niyabji, Jatram Dev, Vallabhai Patel or Mohan Lal Pandya? Seriously? Sir, option D sir, Mohan Lal Pandya. Mohan Lal Pandya. Very good. See, how did the publication of newsletter and periodicals? See, how did the publication of newsletters and periodicals during the Bardoli Satyagra help the moment? To create awareness on salt tax imposed on the farmers in India, or to create the awareness on the unjust taxation imposed on the Indian farmers, or to create the awareness on the increased taxation imposed on the local farmers, or to create the awareness on the increase in the sale duty on agricultural fees. Nandini? Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Which one you may feel? Option B. Okay. No? How did the publication of newsletters and periodicals during the Bardoli Satyagraha at the moment? So, option A, sir. Okay, who is this? Vani Shri, sir. Ah, Vani, tell me. Which one? Option A? No. I will see, so what is the answer? Santosh. Santosh. So, so option D. Option D. No. It is option C. It was on the local farmers. Increased taxation. So, how it is erection to them? So, this what they wanted to prove that. Who shot the plague commissioner, Mr. Ram? Chapekar brothers. So, Vasudo Malwan Parke or <coughs> Savant Veer Savarkar or Anand Rajma Khagre. Any idea? Anybody is having any idea about this? Sohan? So I think option A. Option A, Chapeka Brothers. Good. See the Chapeka Brothers shot at the plague commission ran in the revenge. Good. Gandhiji led the Champaratna Satyagra for the cause of dash cultivators. Indigos. Indigo. Exactly correct. Gandhiji formed the dash organization to fight for the cause of the India in South Africa. So which organization he has formed? National Indian Congress, Ajahn Hind Sena, Indian National Congress, South African Congress. Did you Sir, option B. Option B. Yes. In the South Africa. No, I also is wrong. So option D. No, Sopna. Option A, yes, sir. Natural Indian Congress. Yes. Correct. Why did the Khilafat movement came to an end? The non cooperation movement became popular, the British managed to suppress the movement, or the Sultan of Turkey was deposed? Sir, option A. Option A. No. I don't think so. Sopna? 
Option C, sir. The Sultan of Turkey was deposed. Exactly correct. Why were the peasants not in a position to pay the land revenue in Kerala? Most of their land was used for the indigo cultivation. Crops has failed in Kerala. The land revenue was too high. Yes, Sohan? Option A. Exactly correct. Fine. So, good participation. So, let us see the other module related to the freedom struggle. That is the Satyagraha from the Durban to India and India where all which are the incident which have inspired the people due to the Satyagraha moment. So what are these incidents which have inspired the people and they have become the nationwide movement? Let's see that. This already I have discussed with you, right? So there were two phases of Satyagraha, one at the village level. So now what is showing it is at the village level, Champaran and the Bihar, okay, for the indigo plantation. See my dear children. So Satyagraha, one is so the village level, self-sufficient Indian village fight against the injustice and second one which has spread nationwide against the injustice. So both are Satyagra moment only but the mode of that spread was different at the village level as well as the national level. Okay. Basically, from the Gujarat, where he has started his revolt, right, Kheda. So, he is telling some more incidents which have occurred there, which were there. Incident what had happened in the Khera district, excessive rainfall. So excessive rainfall means definitely it will lead to the famine. Okay, due to which the farmers have lost all their crops. See, so there when the crop was failed due to the excess heavy rainfall. So ultimately, the farmers had been to the British government and they asked for what? To give the concession in the paying of the taxes. But they did not agree for that. So concession was 
refused very clearly. You can see her. See, so when they did not give the concession, at least they told that please you extend the time of payment of the tax. At least you can do that. But even the British government have rejected that also. They did not agree to extend the date of payment of tax. Gandhiji along with the Sardar Vallabhai Patel and many other leaders, they joined together the hands and they started the Satyagraha. And due to this, what happened, the British have taken the repressive steps. What did they do? They confiscated all the Indian farmers' land. Okay? And meanwhile, in that confiscated land, so Monlal Pandya, he was a person who grown the onions there, so without the permission of the government in that confiscated land. So later he was in prison for that his act. But later on, due to Satyagraha of Mahatma Gandhi and other leaders, at last there was a compromising between the British government and the Indians and they have agreed for what? To give some concessions. See, did you know this? Mahatma Gandhi gave a Mohanlal Pandya. What do you call him? Dugli Cho means onion thief or harvesting the onions on the government land. See, these were so bandits, outlaw peoples who were troubling the people who were there in the border as well as the British police officers. Okay, so what had happened? Let's see. See, to control, to have the control over these bandits, right, these all bandits, to bring them under their control, the British police officers, they thought that how much force we are having is not sufficient, so then they added some more police officers to bring these people under their control. And for that sake, what did they do? They made uh, Indians to pay some extra taxes, which was a burden on the Indians. See. See how bad it is. The people of Bursad and uh, Anand Talukas, these are the two places where the peoples were imposed a tax of 2 rupees 50 paisa per person has to pay. For what? For the maintenance of that police force which will be taken care by the Britishers to keep the bandits outside. For that sake, they made each person to pay 2 rupees 50 paisa as a tax. <laughs> Sardar Vallabhai Patel with other people, so this was called by name Gorsan Satyagraha. 
So he was influenced by the Gandhiji Satyagraha. Here Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel, he do the same Satyagraha with the support of the people which came to be called by the name the Bosa Satyagraha. So for what? For that additional charge of the taxes. And at last they made the government to bend down and they have withdrawn on January 8th, 1924. Okay. again the same incident in the border so there additional taxes now people have become very aware and they started the agitation See, when the people have become very much enraged and the movement everywhere has taken place, so what happened? So the legal notice has been sent and those all leaders were kept in prison. See, this is very important. The Rashma Satyagra inspired the people to launch the Vadla, Dolera, and the Viragami Sword Satyagra. So, these are all the incidents, one after the other, which won, went on inspiring the moments in the country. Okay? Okay, good. Sir. So, you have seen the modules which were concerned to the moments which have been taken by the Gandhiji and how it has inspired the others. Let us see here uh, the one more activity. Uh, 
this i will deal in the next class okay fine okay fine children so uh, that's what uh, what we have dealt uh, with the gandhi ji's early life and uh, his early moments in this class today okay and remaining part i will continue later in the next class okay so have a nice day Take care of yourself. My dear children, I hope so that I made it very clear the concepts about the early life of the Gandhijis and the moment led by the Gandhijis. Okay? So take care. See you in the next class. Bye. Thank you, Thank, you, Thank you sir. 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 Bye sir. Bye. 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 B